But it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Kinda, that's, that's how I. I kind of like that. Hi, I'm Ella Pennell, and these are my film firsts with BAFTA. Didn't do, didn't do the hound thing. Okay, I remember this one. The first film I watched at a young age that I definitely shouldn't have watched at a young age was The Shining. And I remember we, I went to a girl's sleepover, and I was like, I was like finally invited to the cool kids' sleepover with all the cool girls. Um, and then the cool, the really, really cool girl put on The Shining, and all the other cool girls were like watching it. <laughs> and I was there just like, and I felt like it was hiding underneath the pillow. And to this day, I cannot watch horror films. I hate horror films. I'm terrified of horror films. I'm scared of them. I can't watch them. I don't like having an unpleasant movie viewing experience. And it's, it's not fun for me. I don't like it. And I'm, I put that down to watching that film too young. Whew. Do you remember anything from the film? Yeah, the bloody twins. It, I can't even, like, even, you know, when like, you, go, you go out for Halloween, there's always the twins. I can't look at them in the eye. Probably seem really rude, but I just can't. <sighs> My first reaction when I heard Fallout was getting a second series. I think it was something like quite like, well, it, the actual reveal was a bit anticlimactic. It was like me on the tube, like checking my phone, and it was an email being like really chill, being like Fallout season two picked up. <laughs> but my reaction being like stopping and being really excited and having no one to tell because I was alone, and then calling my mum. Obviously, it's always the first thing I do when I get good news. Uh, and being really excited. And then being really nervous. <laughs> How often on a daily basis are you asked to say okie dokie? Or just do it naturally? Oh my god, I say okie dokie all the time. I've said it like five times today. These guys can concur. I mean, today, if that's okay. Okie dokie. So we'll have a discussion around sweet peas. Oh, saying it. And then uh, yes. <laughs> we'll I know. It's, I can't. <laughs> it's part of me. It just lives in me now. It's part of me. I'm not going to try and get rid of it. It's not a bad habit to have. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> Oh, the first film I remember seeing ever. I mean, in, uh, I couldn't tell you when, but the, uh, Ar I never know how to say it right. Aristocats. Aristocats. Aristocats, the Aristocats. I love that film. I love the music. I love, I love all the cats. So many other things, but the main thing is the music and the cats. That was the first film. Yeah. Do you have a favorite cat? Like, I'm saying Thomas O'Malley was the best. Oh, a classic. I liked, I've forgotten the name because it's actually been years since I've seen it, but the the white cat, the, um, can't remember her name, the kitten, the Marie. young one. Marie! How did you, have you seen this film quite recently? I love the Aristocats. So. You love the, okay, well Marie was like my, I wanted to be, if I could be a cat, I would have been Marie, the white little kitten from Aristocats. Sassy and have a bow. I think I am sassy and have a bow. <laughs> maybe that's what I've, maybe I've achieved all my dreams. Just by being sassy. The first film or TV show I was obsessed with. This is probably gonna be somewhat relatable, but um, Totally Spies, which was a TV show on Nickelodeon, potentially, in Disney, don't know, unsure. Loved it, obsessed. I hear they're doing a remake, not sure if it's happening or not, but um, yeah, I loved Totally Spies. I was kind of really obsessed with spies growing up. You're gonna see a theme with my next couple of answers. Um, but me and my best friend, when we were like really young, would we were inspired by Totally Spies and would pretend to be spies with all our like imaginary cool like weapons and tricks. And I was the girly girl, and she was the tomboy. I had a lipstick, an invisible lipstick that would turn into like a dagger. Um, really quite spy obsessed. I'm really painting myself out to be the coolest kid. So the first character I was obsessed with from film or TV was um, was the girl from um, Spy Kids. <laughs> I really was so obsessed with spies when I was younger. And I watched Spy Kids and I thought it was the best thing ever to be made. Uh, I can't remember the girl's called Carmen, maybe? God, she was so cool. She was so cool. I really wanted to be her. Um, and uh, yeah, and I just became obsessed. I watched that movie hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Loved that film, still love that film. I've actually rewatched that film many times as an adult. Spy Kids 2 is elite, it's better, it's great, it's fantastic. Um, there, there is a third one, isn't there? Yeah, it's but it's 3D a different, though. oh, it's the 3D, but it's a different cast, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so, no, I'm not sure I've actually seen that one. I think I'm just, I'm so committed to this actress whose name I don't know, uh, that I, I would only watch her. I'm nothing if not loyal. You're not gonna believe this. But the first film that I ever saw that made me think I wanna act was Spy Kids. <laughs> I promise. 
I'm not having you on. This is me being as genuinely truthful as I can. Oh, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I think that film's brilliant. And, and also, the, well, I didn't watch a ton of things as a kid, wh which other kids were in. Kids my age. I think I, I was about her age when I watched it. It's probably a bit too old to be obsessed with spies. Um, and I just, I just thought it was brilliant and amazing. And I didn't understand how they had done any of it. And I remember, like, I really, really do remember pausing and rewinding, and I learned all the lines, and me and my friends would like recreate the scenes and say the lines perfectly in time. You know, I'm sure people who are in this really love films can relate to this. Of like, I could literally say the whole film word for word, and we'd do all the fight sequences. <sighs> I had loads of friends when I was really cool. Without spoiling everything for everyone, my first reaction to reading the Arcane season two scripts was, a bit of like, ooh. I think I was just really excited because I know how much this show means to so many people. I love this show and I just, I'm really so excited for people to see it. I really think it's brilliant. I think they're amazing. I'm excited. Henry Cavill's excited. He loves the show. I don't know if he's What? Yeah, it was recommended in an interview and then they did a follow up and he was like, yeah, it's amazing. Oh my God, really? That's yeah. so cool. How uh, cool is that? The first thing I ever acted in was a advert for a sweetie called Toffee Fee, Toffee Fee, uh, in German, Germany, both. Uh, and I was probably like eight years old. Um, my, my main memory is that uh, there was a bit where I had to sort of dip my hand in a bowl of caramel and lick the caramel off my hand. And everyone kept telling me not to, you know, not, not to like eat it properly and to use a spit bucket. And obviously, because I was eight, I was like, guys, I can handle it. And um, I threw up down myself. Yeah. Oh, the first film that reduced me to tears. Um, I don't cry a lot in films, watching, watching things or reading things or hearing things. I don't really cry a lot, anyway. Um, but My Sister's Keeper, I, th this is like ingrained in my memory because I was like bawling. I just w was bawling. I just couldn't stop crying. I cried my eyes out. I'd also read the book, probably too young to have read the book. Um, yeah, that one's really stuck in there. Incredible, but so sad, God. Yeah. Imagine I was like Spy Kids. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs>